So boxer versus fighter confrontation, a real classic coming up here. Pender got a pretty uh, unhealthy reception from the crowd. Vasilio, the crowd favourite. Carmen Vasilio, of course, beat Tony DeMarco for the World Weight Championship of the World. Then he beat Sugar Ray Robinson, become middleweight champion before losing the title. And this is his fourth attempt at regaining the middleweight title. So Paul Pender then in the white shorts. Doesn't want to get heavily involved here with Vasilio. Carmen Basilio, professional fighter, since 1948. Comes into this one at the age of 33. Paul Pender, three years younger at 30, who made his professional debut back in uh, 1949. And on paper, it looks like Pender's got the edge here. He's had two wins over Sugar Ray Robinson, the man that, of course, uh, took the middleweight title back off Basilio. And Pender doesn't do everything right. The uh, right hand flaps around a bit. And there's not a great deal so far between them in this opening session. But you know exactly what you're going to get when Basilio is in action. He's an all-action performer, comes forward constantly. Paul Pender, the reigning defending champion from Brookline in Massachusetts, not a million miles from Canastota, New York, where Basilio hails from. Angelo Dundee in the corner with Karma Basilio, the challenger. Basilio's record coming into this 56 wins, 15 losses, in a total of 78 contests so far. <laughs> round two then of the scheduled 15 round world middleweight title fight. And Paul Pender, 39 wins. 20 inside the limit, five defeats. And he knows how to tackle Basilio. In fact, he's a very versatile kind of boxer, Paul Pender. He fought the supreme boxer in Sugar Ray Robinson and beat him twice. And here he is up against a probably possibly a supreme fighter in Basilio. Pender, really one of the unheralded world champions of his time. And Basilio, of course, had fought absolutely everybody, including Don Jordan, Gene Fulmer, Sugar Ray, of course, Johnny Saxton, the man he'd beaten and lost to on two occasions. Other names include Peter Muller, Ronnie Harper, Billy Graham, cracking fighter, the Gavilan, not got beaten by Gavilan. And points over 15 rounds when he first uh, fought for the World World Weight title. And Pender looks pretty cool out there. 15 round fight, of course. And they tend to start at quite a slow tempo, anticipating a full 15 rounds of action. Jabs there from Pender. And it's going to be hard, I think, for the judges to separate the uh, brawling tactics of Basilio and the decent boxing from Pender. 
and there may not be much between these two at the finish. See the lads are cracking right, and Bell Pender's legs have gone in round two. And Paul Pender is in trouble here as Basilio goes after him. Don't forget, this is uh, Basilio's fourth attempt to at become a middleweight champion, having previously held the title. So a cracking right hand and Pender, oh, and takes a cracking left hook. Good punch there from Basilio. So Paul Pender then shaken to his boots on two occasions here in round two. The right hand, then that cracking left hook. So Al Lacey in the pender corner, they're trying to wake him up somewhat after two terrific punches there. So there's Basilio getting some treatment with the ice pack. So into round three, looks like it could be a round apiece here. Pender taking the opener very closely. Basilio whacking in some cracking punches to take the second as they come out here for round three. Basilio would have got quite a bit of heart, I suspect, from the, uh, the fact that he could hurt Paul Pender in the previous round. Tries it again with the right hand there. Just skin the chin of the defending champion. Pender knows he doesn't want to get involved here overly with his very strong, relentless challenger. And there's an old saying in boxing, a good boxer will always be a good fighter. Not always true, of course. Basilio always working very hard. So Pena then not fully recovered from that uh, second round. Still under a bit of pressure here in the third. Pender came in bang on the middleweight limit at 160. And Carmen Basilio, one pound inside. <laughs> this blood spattered canvas has seen some action as once again Pender de Lanza, a long left hook, goes in behind. Another two. Decent jab there for the champion.
and four. Not a great deal to pick between them now. So, Worm with a weight champion, then Paul Pender from Brookline, Massachusetts, in the white shorts, takes a good left hook from the challenger, the former middleweight champion, Carmen Basilio, from Canastota in New York. Two East Coast fighters, and uh, Basilio, the crowd favourite here, takes a good double left hook there from Pender. Rights there from Pender. And what Basilio really needs is Pender to get down in the trenches and fight him on Basilio's terms, but of course, uh, Pender's got other ideas about that. And swelling on the left eye, Basilio getting slightly worse now. As once again, Pender bangs in three left hooks. Call under pressure, Pender. So Pender will come through this fourth round and possibly have the edge again. His better boxing, of course, is the key to success as once again Basilio tries that big right. Shook Pender to his boots in the second round. So cut on the left eye now. Paul Pender, big right hand there for Basilio, did the damage. Nice bit of work again from Pender, pushes Basilio off. So work to be done on that cut on the left eye. Al Lacey, Pender's coach, earning his corn. So round five coming up then, it looks like Paul Pender's got the slight lead now. After four rounds. Basilio swollen of the left eye, which is no surprise. It's something he's pretty used to. The tough man. And again, a good bit of work there from the challenger, Basilio. Oh, a big, huge, wide left hook there from Pender. And he doesn't want to get involved here, does he? You can tell that. But there's something about the fighter and the boxer's body of Paul Pender. He just can't resist it at times. No pretensions, of course, here for Basilio. Who, by the way, has really sharpened up since he, uh, he went to Angelo Dundee. In his own words, he was quite a crude fighter before Dundee got hold of him. Well, he could have fooled me. So 
Carlin Basilio, known as the Onion Man. He's an onion farmer in New York State. This one looks like it's settling down a wee bit now, with Basilio, of course, uh, trying to be the aggressor when he gets the opportunity. But moreover, Paul Pender keeping things long, and that suits him, of course, far better. there from uh, Basilio. So into round six we go then and Cumber Basilio needs a repeat of the success he had in round two. And don't forget Pender's legs went to jelly from a right hand. The left hook follow-up was good. He's a hard man to nail sometimes, Paul Pender. Made for an uppercut, though. Basilio looks like he's trying to turn to boxer here and coming off second best. And these two men exceptionally fit. Well, looks like that swelling's turned to a cut now. On the left side of Basilio's face, hardly surprising the left hand has really been nagging away at that uh, left eye. Once again, Basilio having a bit of success there with his own left hand. Always very low slung, 